आई एम आकांक्षा पी एस विश्वकर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट इंडेक्स इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी मालवांचल यूनिवर्सिटी इंदौर मध्य प्रदेश इसेंशियल इंटरव्यू स्किल्स इंटरव्यू डेफिनेशन अ जॉब इंटरव्यू इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच अ पोटेंशियल एम्प्लॉय इज इवेलेटेड बाय एन एम्प्लॉयर्स फॉर प्रोस्पेक्टिव एम्प्लॉयमेंट इन देयर कंपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और फिल्म ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस the employers hopes to determine whether or not the applicant is suitable for the job interview experience tell me about your previous interview what was it successful second how long did it go for third what impression did you make fourth what question were asked fifth what were your answers sixth how did you think you went seventh any areas for improvement preparing for interviews first research the company second share ex- examples of achievement third describe the situation the task the action you took and the result of your action fourth assemble relevant information before hand fifth reread your resume and the job as a re- refreshers sixth check your yourself in a full length mirror before the interview researching for your interview rehears your answers out loud before the interview to test how well prepared you are identify any gaps in your delivery and answering techniques Re- rehearse with a real person your rehearsal partner can provide you with feedback and constructive criticism which is vital to improving your chances for success rehearsing will help you build your confident and delivery technique research multiply times until you feel your answers are following lovely now researching the company research the company and make speak about what you know about the company during interview use the internet catalogs 
and other source of information to find out such as much as possible speak to people that works in the company to find more about out the culture and working environment research the company using pub- published material and contacts so that you are able to ask intelligent questions reflect the image of someone working within the company dressing for the interview whether you are going for a blue collar job or a white collar job a creative role or a business role there is no general rule when it comes to what to wear dress up the general consciousness amongst the recultured recultured is that dressing to impress for that first job interview not only tells the interviewers you are serious about the job but also that you are serious about yourself even in cases where the company culture allows casual dress every day or where the role requires you to wear work denims it's still a good idea to dress in formal office wear for the initial job interview for a white collar role a crisp business suit and tie with formal shoes for men and business suit with either skirt or pants for women is recommended navy blue is always a good choice as it is business like and conservative for a blue collar role in a less formal office environment a crisp clean shirt top and jacket with either trousers or pants for a woman or shirt and tie and jacket for a guy with dress shoes and business socks is fine as a general rule take extra care with your appearance for a job interview make sure your clothes are clean and ironed wear clothes that are comfortable so you are concentrating on what is being asked of you both women and men should go light on the fragrance and after shave if in doubt do a full dress rehearsal before the interview and get a second opinion from a friend or family member
arriving on time be on time this means not only don't be late but don't be too early and don't arrive with badges 10 minutes early is good smile make eye contact and give a firm handshake now check out the competition first who is sitting next to you how many people applying for the position how do you rate compared to them what are their qualifications and experiences ask them if they know any other company looking for people now types of interviews first we have verbal interview stress interview phone interview technical interview group interviews panel interviews and role plays first we have verbal interviews a common type of job interview in the modern workplace is the behavioral interviews or behavioral inter event interview also called a competency based interview this type of interview is based on the notation that a job candidates pro- previous behaviors are the best indicator of future performance in behavioral interviews the interviewer ask candidate to recall specific instances where they are they were faced with a set of circumstances and how they reacted now behavioral interviews questions tell me about a project you worked on where the requirement change mid streams what did you do tell me about a time when you took the lead on a project what do you do describe the first project you worked on described a time you had to work with someone you did not like tell me about a time when you had to stick by a discussion decision you had made even thought it made you very unpopular give us an example of something particularly innovative that you have done that matter difference in the workplace what happened the last time you were led with a project have you ever witnessed a person doing something that you felt was against company policy what do you do and why tell me about yourself phone interviews telephone interviews take place if a recruiter wishes to divnandal down the number of prospective candidates before deciding on a short list for face to face interviews they also take place if a job applicant is a significant distance away from the premises of the hiring company such as a board or in another state other type of interviews stress interview stress interviews are still in common use 
One type of stress interview is where the employer uses a succession of interviews one at a time or in masses whose mission is the to intimidate the candidate and keep him her off balance the ostensible purpose of this interview to find out how the candidate handles stress stress interviews might involve testing an applicant's behavior in a busy environment question about handling work overload dealing with multiple projects and handling conflict are typical technical interviews this kind of interviews focuses on problem solving and creativity the questions aims at your problem solving skills and likely shows your ability and creativity sometimes these interviews will be on a computer module with multiple choice questions body language body language is a form of non verbal communication consisting of body pose gesture and eye movements humans send and interpret such signals subconsciously some research has stated stated that human communication consists of 93% body language and paralinguistic cues while only 7% of communication consist of words themselves however other research has said that between 60 and 70% of all meaning is derived from nonverbal behavior body language may provide cues as the attitude or state of mind of a person for an example it may indicate aggression attentiveness boredom relaxed state pleasure amusement besides many other cues good eye contact smile open body language don't slouch don't be too erect make sure your eyes sparkle be engaged breathe deeply accept an offer for a glass of water practice your handshake communication matching your communication style to that of the interviewer listen carefully to the interviewer questions avoid interpreting the interviewer try not to use jargon in your answers or questions interview communication skills first a good handshake second pronounce the interviewer's name properly third get the interviewers to do a lot of talking fourth maintain good eye contact with your interviewer fifth smile look as if you are enjoying the conversation sixth have a confident posture seventh mirror your interviewer good body language eighth keep all your answers positive ninth show enthusiasm tenth 
Listen carefully to the interviewer questions. Eleventh, ask the interviewer questions when the opportunity arises. Dealing with nervousness. Being nervous is normal, and most experienced interviewers understand this. And it really harm your chances if you are acknowledge your nervousness. However, excessive nervousness can work against you, especially if you continually apologize for it. It make other applicants who are more relaxed and confident seem more attractive. Also, many people tend to be overly talkative when nervous. If you fall into this category, try not to go off on tangents. Stick to the question being asked and answer it consciously. You will control your nervousness more effectively if you have taken the time to practice answering question before the interview. Now closing the interview. The purpose of the interview is to help you as well as the company determine if the position will be right for you. Prepare questions and ask the interviewer the this when asked to, to do so. Ask if you have not been told what the process will be after the interview has been complete or when the they would be prepared to make a decision. Leave the interviewer with a good impression, smile and frame handshake. The common interview questions. First, tell me about yourself. Second, why did you leave your last job? Third, what experience do you have in this field? Fourth, do you consider yourself successful? Fifth, what do co-workers say about you? Sixth, what do you know about this organization? Seventh, what have you done to improve your knowledge in the last year? Eight, are you applying for other jobs? Ninth, why do you want to work for this organization? And tenth, do you know anyone who works for us? Now, interview caveats. Being too friendly. Not listening to questions carefully. Saying we instead of referring to your own achievement. Making very general statement with lack substance. Being over enthusiastic, being poorly prepared, scrooging, mumbling, speaking slowly, knowing some nothing about the company to whom you are talking, making derogatory remark about your previous employers. Now mock interviews. The mock interview program is designed to help you. First, practice interviewing. Second, develop interviewing strategies. 
strategies third reduce your anxiety and nervousness before your actual interview fourth create a good first impression fifth communicate your skill clearly clearly sixth how to answer difficult questions a mock interview is one of the very best way to prepare for an actual employment interview the mock interview will help you to learn what is ex- ex- expected in a real interview and how you can improve the way you present yourself the interview is video recorded and then reviewed with you and trained mock interview coach the mock interview coach will provide constructive feedback on all aspect of the interview process the mock interview coach will try to make the interview as realistic as possible any of the question you will ask are interview question from actual employers the mock interview take about 20 minute then you will watch and discuss your performance the mock interview and critique will last ap- approximately 1 hour the mock interview focuses on how well you know yourself and your past experiences how well you know the industry you hope to enter and how well you can convey that information you will gain the most experiences from your mock interview if you treat it like an actual interview the mock interview is a safe place to practice your interview skills and gain feedback summary understand the interview process second assemble the consider previous interview third research the company fourth rehearse your answer before the interview fifth dress professionally and look the part sixth arrive on time seventh access the competition at prepare for behavioral interview question ninth describe the situation the task the actions taken and the result achieved tenth maintain good eye contact and smile eleventh listen carefully to the interviewer questions twelfth keep all your question answers positive thirteenth ask the interviewer questions fourteen deliver a firm handshake and smile at the end of the interview thank you